better sword fishing today. They've been waiting four years to go fishing. We had a deposit down a long time ago. We all got busy, especially me, and uh, today's our day. There we go, going down. Yeah. How's everything? Everything good? What is it? there, Rob. It's bullet pretty hard. We're going to call it. We're going to call it. Shark? You think? I'd say uh, Big Wahoo. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if it was Neil, I'd say bottom. Oh, he's coming up. It's like a 60 pound bull, dog. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Time to drag a little bit. Shock. Up there. Yeah, old guy, bro. Este tipo en Cuba. Now that we know it's a shark, it doesn't matter. In Cuba, he was feared. In Cuba. Shock. <laughs> Rigging a big quiche bait here. So we get tight. That ain't no rat bait. They say they don't want a small fish. They want a big fish. We gotta rig a big bait. With hair like that, you need a big bait. I mean, check this hair out. That's impressive. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Look at it. He's building a house. He said he's not cutting his hair. He builds a house. Next time I see him, I mean, it'll probably be down here. So. <laughs> yeah, with my, with Miami contractors, absolutely. There you go. <laughs> All right, the squid's reading this one. You can tell the rod got heavy a couple times and they destroyed it. That's why you gotta check your bait occasionally, but those are squids chewing on it. Destroyed our Bernita strip. There's a fighter jet up here flying around. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but he is flying through. Time to go for the big one though. Drop big baits, but we're going down to death. Bro, in Cuba, in Cuba, our family would eat that. It'd be a fight to have that thrown down as a bait. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's food. Might be a sword. That's oh, look at that, Mark. That might be him. That, that might be, be a Mark right there. That's him. That's the Cuban swordsman. <laughs> How much do we bring back? I said we gotta eat some food for a lucky bite. They got the gummy bears. They've seen that Anders like that. Look at all this other candy they brought us. You know. He's trying to take credit for it, although I found out he didn't buy it, so. <laughs> the guy with the hair, the guy with no, no. the hair. <laughs> Mr. Curly over here did, so. He, he's the That's one that gets candy. the credit for the Reese's Pieces, the Hershey's Bar. I think bar, of everything. The Starburst, he got it all. We don't catch any fish, at least we're eating good. Come on, fish. Come back and eat it. There he was. All right, hopefully he stays, guys. What is it, two o'clock? Almost two o'clock. We've been sword fishing for six hours. We have not caught anything but a shark. We need this fish. In Cuba, este tipo le habla, un brother. Tiene What you say, man? I'll finish a few hundred pounds. No, I did. It's crazy. You can't tell. 600 pounds. Three coils. We got a double head or something on there. That one might be a palm for it. <laughs> get paid to get a fade, but I see a perm. <laughs> That's what they always say, though. You said that one's bigger than yours. <laughs> get a tuna oh, have a lot of bonito bait. It has like a... Oh, he's going home. He wants to go home. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. It might be a tuna. I was setting up. This guy called a grander tuna. He knows. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 11. I but I know a few of them. Uh, I've never seen a short shake like that. Look at that thing go. <laughs> I got hair love here. Bro. That's questionable. Are you, are you married? Uh, bald guy. Bald guy. <laughs> I have a world record pump for it. Oh, you never know. <laughs> Keep coming slowly. Back it off to four. I think it's a giant paw print. 
Big pop, big pop, big pop right there. I told you that Gumdrop was gonna get him. Big pop. We got another one on up there. We're winning two days in a row. Yeah, he's, he's twenty. Gotta be twenty pounds. This, this could be a record. <laughs> it's a record. Oh, yeah. We got one! Yeah! yeah. We didn't get stuck! <laughs> Goldie got us one! Yeah, just back it off a little. Oh, yeah. Goldilocks. I, I knew Goldie was gonna come through. I told you. <laughs> Look at the colors on that thing, Jamie. Get this. Oh, wow. Oh, hold on, let me get a glove. Keep him away from the boat. Grab me one of those gloves right there, please. Scratch the wrap. Uh, there's the no wrap, no. <laughs> Don't scratch the boat then. Wow. Watch out, guys. Come in, there you go. Got him. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys We're got sword board. sticks. Yes. 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 sword yes. sticks. All right, if we're going to the drop. Yeah. Crazy, you don't get anything all day and then hook two. All right, it's been a slow day overall. 2.15, we finally hooked up, double header. Got to keep our sword on the front rod. Not a big one, big, big enough for dinner. And we got a really nice palm on the back rod. The palm are coming through right now. That's the second one I've caught on this boat. James got another one yesterday. So that's his third one he's caught in a week. Pomfret are pouring through Almorada. Finally getting some action. Look alive. Dude, I was the only one that saw it. About time you do something. I know. I, I did something right. Can you believe it? I'm eating all the food now. All y'all's candy is gone. That could be big quiche right there. He called it Grander Bluefin Tuna, 11 and 30 pounders. Grander man back there. This Get is Grander. Camera. They call him Grander. Grander. We're making nicknames for everybody. Hey, you know he called it Grander, right? Grander this is man. the hair guy. Yeah, that's hair. hair. That's curly hair. Curly yeah. hair. Curly hair don't care. We're out here fishing with Nick Stantic. <laughs> trying to get poo for our families. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got a pump for it. And we have a little sword. But with any luck here, Johnny on his birthday, gonna get one. <laughs> the bills are piling up. We can slow it down. We need stop. to put food on the table. Keep coming, 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 keep coming. faster. Okay, turn, 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 turn it off and back on. There you go. It's alright, alright, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. We're still we're, we're tight. Alright, keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep he's tight, he's tight. Keep rolling, keep going, keep going. Keep going. You're tight on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep reeling. Alright, stop the reel. He's right here. He was that's why he was fighting weird. He was hooked in the throat. So the hook got him in the throat there. Yeah, I saw that. And that's that part of that. There's the hook right there where That's it was. part of what determines whether we keep these fish or not. It's a keeper, he's not a monster, but we'd rather eat him than the sharks eat him, so he's coming home. Check out his mouth. That'd be a point, point. Nick. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a point got cut off. You see the mouth? Oh wow. The nice. point is like deformed. So we're running in from sword fishing. We saw a man of bird working. The guys saw it. Didn't look like he was doing much. They started swooping down, working on fish. We got a mahi there. And about a minute later, two more came jumping by. We thought they were going to eat, but they didn't bite. I don't know if someone was chasing them or what, but uh, 
nice to see early season Mahi here. In the next couple months, you know, we're getting closer to springtime, we'll start seeing more and more of them. Bait too, they get the fillets, we get the bellies for bait. Cutting up that mahi, and he had another mahi inside of him. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. That mahi there, that mahi there's only about five pounds, and he ate, you know, Don't watch your kids. little baby mice. They, they eat each other down there. They're cannibals. Captain Bison's is here, officially taking charters. Uh, I'm running Ricky's old 20 foot sea craft. It's 600 a half day, 900 a full day, and that cups covers up to four people. Uh, today we went fishing. We went three for three on tarpon early. We went and caught a couple of snooks after that. Um, and it was a beautiful day back there. You can't beat the Everglades. Captain Nick endorsed. I said, I can't, don't know if you catch fish alone, but you have a good time. I promise you that. But say we had a good time and caught fish. So you might get both. So you might get both. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that pectoral fin. It comes all the way down to here. Look at that. Yeah. Look, look how far down it comes. That means it can swim fast, right? I mean, yeah. it doesn't know. You see that white in their tail? Yeah, I like it. It's beautiful. It's pretty. You want to cook this in whole or what? Best thing's got a lot of head meat in there. Yeah, you have to put that on a big pot of a grill. Big stew. Big stew. Wrap in a file paper, you know? Stew yeah, them down. Yeah, yeah. Real proper. You don't know. Proper. Yeah, man. See yeah, yeah. You have a general. Big up. You don't know. Roughest, toughest. You know the you place? Know. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Wong, mm -hmm. wong, mitaji. Yes, I am. See Yeah, yeah. You know, you ate the wrong bait today. I don't think a shark would want to eat that fish. No? They got like armor. Yeah, you got to like protect armor. the head. And then when he's alive and kind of muscle up, Oh, I don't. Yeah, I think yeah, a no. shark would break his teeth on this. Leave a shark or pass. Yeah. All right, yeah, ready for the palm print? When I was scaling it, yeah. you couldn't even get the scale. This off. is the fish today. A couple swords are great, but yeah, we got palm print. We got to flame him up here. How much that palm print weigh? Twenty-two. A little bit bigger than one of the other. Twenty-two on the grip. Here we go. Big old peck fins like Bean showed you. I mean, tough scales. Can't even cut through the skin there. <laughs> Way up, up his backbone. Get all the head meat out of there. There we go. Now we cooked some of this the other night with Mike. Made a brown stew. That'll be a, that's a different video probably out before this one. But there was not a lot of meat in the header. Once you get that chunk out of there, it was slim pickings for his throat. And you know we picked apart the ribs, but we ain't doing that again. It's too much work and not enough to eat. Yeah. 
Yeah, that up in there. Beautiful me. Beautiful me, beautiful. Got the fillet up this time. There we go. Fillet of meat there, that's some palm fritter. Palm frit right there, beautiful. Really clean too. It is beautiful. Look, I don't even see any worms in there. Yeah, really clean. So that one section, one little spot here, not so bad. Yeah, just a couple little worms there, but not much though. Very beautiful meat. Very pretty. So that's what we cooked the other night with Mike there, one of the rib bones. And you can see they're just so stacked up. There's a little tiny bit of meat in there, but it was a lot of work for a little bit of yield, so we won't be doing that again. But it was still good. And the brown stew, the sauce was delicious. Beautiful though. Tom Frit right there. One little worm there, but overall very clean. Sometimes you do see some worms in them. Very unique fish though. We don't catch many of them. You guys can feel that there. I mean, it's like alligator hide. It's so thick and the scales are so thick on there. Very, very durable. Pump for it. Pump for it. Pump it out. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? It's pump it out. All right, another successful day with Captain Stanzik. With the broad minded. Oh, yeah. Coolest full of fish. Y'all should check it out. Once in a lifetime, buddy. Once in a lifetime. Let's see that cooler. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes, sir. And we even got a sword bait for next time. Mixed bag. <laughs> So that wraps up today, you guys. We got a beautiful palm fret, a pair of swordfish, a few mahi. We wanted to keep the first sword for dinner. He was a keeper, you know, right at 53 inches. Not a big one, they gotta be 47 inches to keep, but still dinner, and the guys wanted fish to eat, so legal fish, we keep them. The second fish, we tagged him. You know, we were hoping to release him, but the hook wound up getting him in the throat, and you could just see it gushing blood. I'm not gonna let go of a fish that's dying and gonna bleed out. You know, I'd rather eat it than that. And he was 52 inches, so pretty much the same size. Fun day though, great group of guys all from Miami and uh, you know Alfred's hair there, that hair was impressive so we don't get to see that all the time. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, it really helps the algorithm, gets the channel up there. James is cleaning the boat right now, we got the spot zero system, that's a water purification system there and we don't have to shame the boat after that so makes his life a lot easier and if I wash the boat by myself it makes my life easier too so. Come on down to Bud and Mary's Marina, check us out, check out the website stancefishing.com if you want to get some merchandise and uh, we got more videos coming your way you guys, we'll see you then.